I watched it Deadpool and Wolverine, and here are my thoughts. Now, no surprise here, as somebody that loves Deadpool 1 and 2, consider them two of my favorite movies of all time. I fucking loved this movie. There was really never a doubt in my mind that this movie was gonna be fun as hell to watch. It just depended on how far they went with certain things, because, you know, they shared a lot of cameos. And I can't lie, whenever I see a film, you know, or a bunch of trailers and, you know, pre, you know, release stuff getting revealed, I'm like, man, you know, I kind of wish I would've just been able to see that in the theater. But I gotta say, they did a really good job at showing you certain things, getting you excited, while also keeping the really surprising and super cool shit under wraps. My jaw was on the fucking floor, honestly, with some of the people that showed up in this movie and certain things they decided to do with, you know, I just don't want to get into spoilers, but it's really hard not to say the certain people that show up in this movie, and it, just bottom line, it's fucking epic. I do think this movie does a really good job at having all these cameos and all these different type of characters show up and making them fit into the plot pretty seamlessly. Obviously, some are there for more fan service than anything, but I feel like they did a pretty good job, kind of like No Way Home did, where they brought back, you know, Toby and Andrew Garfield to play Spider-Man and made their characters actually important to the plot, rather than just having them show up purely for fan service, even though, of course, it is fan service as well. Some characters get better treatments than others in this movie, but I feel like, overall, you really only had one chance to do what Deadpool and Wolverine did, so they just threw everything at the wall, and I think most of it sticked. Or stuck. I don't know. Whatever. Now, as fun and as amazing as this movie is, I gotta be honest, there were some things that I could obviously tell you know, the movie lacked. First of all, a pretty underwhelming villain that I feel like had a lot more potential than they ended up giving her. I don't know, kind of felt like an afterthought, which I guess I understand with how much other shit they juggled, but I mean, it was still like, all right, this, you know, villain isn't really that good. And the other thing is like, it's pretty obvious too, but I don't really consider this like a bad thing. I'm just saying like things that this movie lacked. I think overall story is one of them. Like there really wasn't much to it. It was pretty simple. It was all about the characters really coming together, you know, from many different places and kind of just getting to know each other, being around each other, and it was kind of a buddy movie, is what it felt like to me. Overall, if you like Deadpool 1 and 2, you're gonna like Deadpool and Wolverine. I mean, it is so cool to be able to see Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds play these characters together on the same screen that isn't X-Men Origins. We got the actual real Deadpool this time when Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are together. It's just a fucking dream come true as somebody that grew up with these movies and was hoping for the longest time after seeing Deadpool, you know, in X-Men Origins, didn't realize how much of a travesty that was as a kid, because I didn't know the Deadpool character. But then finally, you know, the movies come out and they're fucking amazing and all you want to see is Deadpool and Wolverine together. And the fact that we finally get to see it after all this time is honestly kind of mind-blowing. And the fact that they didn't just do Deadpool and Wolverine, they did so much more than that in this movie, I think just makes it just amazing. There's really not much else to say. I think at some point when this movie ends up coming out, you know, on DVD, I'll probably, yeah, not probably, I will pick it up and I'll probably watch it again and make another video where I just go full balls to the wall, doors blown open, talk about all the cameras and different things like that and really give my thoughts on it because right now I don't want to spoil nothing I mean I could have a spoiler portion of this video but I feel like I'd ramble for 30 minutes so this is what it is it's a great movie with solid action I know people you know tend to pick on CG I didn't have any problem with it or at least any CG that wasn't that great I didn't fucking notice because I was so into the movie it's obviously hilarious as hell and the chemistry between Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds I think rivals any other how do I say this I guess any other pairing any other chemistry that has ever been in the MCU you can just tell how much they love their characters and how much care they put into portraying them and it just it oozes through the screen you fucking feel it again as i said at the beginning i fucking love this movie i can't wait to see it again i might go see it in the theaters again and the last movie i saw twice in theaters was no way home so pretty good goddamn company so obviously i would recommend this movie i mean that's you know just without a shadow of a doubt it really did surprise me and you know like i said it's not a perfect movie there are things that you know do have their flaws but i feel like they're so minuscule in compared or in comparison to everything else you get and all the fan service and everything it just really makes it like a very minuscule issue at the end of the day it's a movie i never thought i would even be able to get to see anyway or would ever be able to be made so the fact that we got it is just insane and i am just honestly grateful that this goddamn thing exists but that'll go ahead and do it guys i hope you enjoyed the video be sure to let me know what you thought and i'll catch you in the next one peace